bore da a croeso in gwasanaeth boreol wedi. Heddiw yw sîl cyn y grawis, neu sîl y gwedd newyddiad. Fe nhw i wenfus, a dwi yn mynd i gymeryd y gwasanaeth bore fa. Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer for Transfiguration Sunday. My name is Jane Rees and one of your newest worship leaders. Envis and I hope you will enjoy our service. Today's service is taken from the Daily Prayer Green Book and our psalm would be Psalm 99. One of our readings will be taken from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians, the third chapter, and we'll also be listening to the Gospel of Luke, the ninth chapter. The canticle I've chosen this morning is Canticle 35 and can be found in Welsh on page 184 and English on page 185. Our first hymn this morning is the well-known hymn, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. Ysbryd yw diw, a rhaid yw y ddolwyr ef y ddoli mewn ysbryd a gwirionedd. Daethom ynghyd yn deulu diw yn presenoldeb ein tad, i roddi i ddofoliant a diolch, i glywed a derbyn ei air, i gyflwyno iddo anghenion yr holl byd ac i geisio ei ras, fel y gallwn trwy dy fab Iesu Grist, and rhoi ein hunain i wasanaeth. Jesus said, The first commandment is listen, Israel. The Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Gadewch yn i weddio a gymeryd amser cyn ein caffesu ein pychodau. 
Let us take a moment of silent prayer before we confess our sins. To Wedung Gadangilith we say together, Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, and we have not loved others as Christ loved us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy forgive us. Help us to amend our lives, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself, and forgives the sins of all who truly repent, Pardon and deliver us from all our sins, and grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service continues in Welsh on page 22 and in English on page 23. Ar glwydd agor ein gwyfysau, an genau a fynega de O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let us say together the Venite. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come to his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 99. <coughs> y mae'r arglwydd yn frenin crynna'r boblaidd. Y mae wedi i orseddi uwch y cerwbiaid esgwder ddeiar. Y mae'r arglwydd yn fawr yn seon. Y mae'n ddyrcharfiedig uwch yr holl boblaidd. Byddent i ddi'n foli dy enw mawr ac ofnadwy sanctau ddiwedd. Un cryf sydd frenin y mae'n caru cyfiawnder. Ti sydd wedi sefydlu uniondeb, gwneithos farn y chyfiawnder yn Jacob. Dyrchafwch yr arglwydd ein diw, ymgrymwch o flaen eu droedfaint sanctau ddiwedd. Yr oedd Moses ac Aaron ymhlith eu offeiriaid, a Samuel ymhlith yr rhai a alwydd ar ei enw. Gael wasant ar yr arglwydd a tebodd hwy, llyfarodd wrthynt mewn cofl gwmwl. Gael wasant eu disgioleithu ar ddeddf a'r hoddodd iddynt. O arglwydd ein diw, y tebais hwy, diw yn maddau bios iddynt ond yn dial eu camweddau. Dyrchafwch yr arglwydd ein diw, ymgrymwch yn ei fynydd sanctaidd. Santaidd yw'r arglwydd ein diw. Gogoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oesoedd. Amen. Dylleniaid o Lathyr Paul at y Corinthiaid Gan fod gennym ni felly'r fath o baith, a rydym yn hi hwn, ac nid yn debyg i Moses yn gosod gorchydd ar ei wyneb, rhag ofyn i'r Israeliaid syllu ar ddiwedd y gogoniant oedd ei ddiflannu, ond pylwyd ei meddyliau. Hyd y dydd hwn, Pan ddarllenant yr hen gyfamod, 
y mae'r un gorchydd yn aros heb ei godi, gan mae anghrist yn unig y symud i'r eir. Hyd y dydd hwn, pryd bynnag y dylenu'r cyfraith Moses, y mae'r gorchydd yn gorwydd ar ei meddwl. Ond pryd bynnag, y mae rhywun yn troi at yr arglwydd, fe dynnu'r ymaith y gorchydd. Yr ysbryd yw'r arglwydd hwn. A lle mae ysbryd yr arglwydd, y mae rhyddid. Ac rydym ni i gyd heb orchydd er ein hwyneb, yn edrych fel mewn drych ar ogoniant yr arglwydd ac yn cael ein trosfyrio o ogoniant i ogoniant, a'n wir lun o honno ef. A gwaith yr arglwydd yr ysbryd yw hyn. Am hynny, gan fod y weinod i gaeth, hon gennym trwy digarydd diw, nid a dim yn digoloni, a rydym wedi ymwrthod a ffyrdd dyrgel, a chawelyddus, nid a dim yn arfer cyfrwystra nac yn llirgunio gair diw. Yn hytrach, trwy ddwy na gwirionydd, i'r amlwg yr ydym yn ein cymerdwion a hynain i gydwybo pob un gerbron diw. Gwran dewch ar hyn y mae'r ysbryd yn ei ddweud o ddyr erglwys. Diolch a fo. Easy. Gadewch yn i weid gyda yn gynfydd y Benedictus. Let us say together the Gospel Canticle of the Benedictus on pages 28 and 29. Bendigedig fyddo arglwydd diw Israel, a mi ddo am weld a'i bobl a prynu rhyddid. Cododd waredigaeth gadarn i ni yn hyd a fydd ei was, fel y llyfarodd trwy enau ei brofwydu sanctaidd yn yr oesoedd a fi. Gwaredigaeth rhag ein gylynion ac o afael pawb sydd yn ein cysau. Fel hyn y cymerodd drigaredd ar ein hynhafiaid a chofio ei gyfamod sanctaidd. Y llw y dyngodd wrth Abraham ein tad, y rhoddau ni gael ein hachub o afael gylynion, a'i oeddoli yn ddiofn mewn sancteidrwydd a chyfiawnder ger efron ef holl ddyddiau ein bywyd. A thithau fy mhentyn gelwyr di yn broffwyd y gyrichaf, oherwydd bydden cerdded o flaen yr arglwydd i baratoi ei lwybrau, i roi yw bobl wybodaeth am waredigaeth trwy fyddeiant eu pechodau. Hyn yw trigaredd calon ein diw, fe ddaw a wawrddydd oddi uchod i'n plith i lywyrchu ar y rhai sy'n eistedd yn y hwllwch cysgod angau a chyfeirio ein traed i ffordd tangnefedd. Gogoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oesoedd. Amen. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep, but since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. 
Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them. They were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, this is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent. And in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. My homily this morning is adapted from a book called Fresh from the Word by Rosalind Brown. His Anointed Face the readings this week are sensory. There is much significance for those with eyes to see and not just on the mountains where God's glory is revealed. Luke adds significant details to Matthew and Mark's accounts of Jesus' transfiguration. And typically, given his interest in prayer, Luke says that Jesus went up the mountain to pray. This looks forward to Jesus' praying in the Garden of Gethsemane and wanting his disciples with him. Only Luke records Jesus telling them to pray as well as to be with him. Luke alone places this event on the eighth day, a possible resurrection illusion given that only Luke tells us that Moses and Elijah spoke with Jesus about his departure, his exodus, a word brimming with Salvanic connections to be accomplished at Jerusalem. Usually we speak of making our departure, so this choice of accomplished suggests something momentous. Jesus' departure is to be undertaken, not just to happen, it is his exodus. These are words we can take into Lent and Holy Week when we ponder the mystery of the Passion. When Moses came down the mountain in the 34th chapter of Exodus, I suggest you also read the Exodus set reading for this morning his face continued to shine. The people's fear caused him to veil his face, to shield them from God's reflected glory. But in contrast, although Luke describes Jesus' face as changed on the mountain, it did not cause the disciples to fear. The cloud did that. Or evoke any response when he came down unveiled. Instead, they were thrust back into a melee of life as the crowd started to surge forward around Jesus and we hear of a distressed father begging of healing for his probably epileptic son. Luke alone of all the gospel writers records the father's plea and he uses a telling phrase. Look at my son. He is my only son. Look at my son. Very similar words to those another father spoke of his son, first at his baptism and again so recently on the mountain. This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. An only beloved son was implored to look at another only beloved son. But what was he to see? not the overt glory of God, which the disciples saw in him on the mountain, but through and beyond the suffering to someone who, 
as we were only reminded last week, bore the likeness of God. Jesus shared our humanity. In his father's son, he was there for looking at his, home, whole, his own humanity defaced. In a documentary called Saving Face, shown on Channel 4 in the early 20, 2013, a surgeon, Dr Mohammed Jawad, who volunteered his skill to restore the faces of Pakistani women who had been victims of acid attacks, said, I am seeing my own face because I am part of the society which caused this. And I'm doing my bit, but there is only so much I can do. Come, join the party. What do we see when we look at someone asking for mercy? Perhaps we should recognise our own disfigurement and, our, and through our active response, join the life-transforming party. Jesus acted and healed the son. Again, Luke uses a revealing phrase. Jesus gave him back to his father. And so in effect saying, Father, look at your son, look what I've done for him. Similarly, in the hymn by a 19th century Regis professor at Oxford, William Blight, we ask our father to look at his son and then at us in the light of what Christ has done for us. Look, father, look at his anointed face and only look on us as found in him. Look not on our misusings of thy grace, our prayer so languid and our faith so dim. For lo, between our sins and their reward, we set the passion of thy Son, our Lord. When the Lord makes his face to shine upon us and is gracious to us, taken from Numbers 6, 25, there is no telling how his glory will be revealed. As Paul reminds us this morning in his second letter to the Corinthians, we have such hope of seeing the glory of God as though reflected in a mirror and are being transformed into the same image. So, until we see face to face, we will perceive God's glory in places where transformation is in progress. When we will be praying the collect for grace later on together, we pray for grace to perceive the Son's glory. Essentially, we are praying to be surprised by God's extraordinary grace in action. Amen. Our canticle this morning is Canticle 35. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, yet he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above all names that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven, on earth, and in the depths, and every tongue confess, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. At the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Let's join together in the language of our choice to say the Apostles' Creed. Credaf yn niw, dad holl gyfoethog, creawdwr nefoedd a ddear, credaf yn iesu grist, unig fab diw ein harglwydd ni, ac yn hedlwyd o'r ysbryd glan, a aned o fair forwyn, a ddioddefodd dan Pontius Pilat, a groeshoelwyd, a fi farw, ac a gladdwyd. Disgynnodd i blith y meirw, Ar y trydydd dydd fe atgyfodod esgynodd i'r nefoedd, ac y mae'n eistedd ar dy heilawr tad, 
ac fe ddaw i farnu'r byw a'r meirw. Credaf yn yr ysbryd glân, yr eglwys lân gatholig, cymun y saint, mae ddeant pechodau, at gyfodiad y corff, a'r bywyd tragwyddol. Amen. Today we have special prayers for the Ukraine. God in heaven, you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. We pray for the people of Ukraine, for their community and political leaders. Through your Holy Spirit, guide them at this difficult time. We pray for those institutions and leaders around the world who have the influence to work for peace. We pray also for all people and nations who hold a grievance. Help them to see that talking is the best way forward. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Our prayers for Transfiguration Sunday. Filled with confidence, let us pray. Let us pray to the Father, for the Church and the world. O oh Lord, guard and direct your Church in the way of truth, unity and praise. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit, we pray especially for Joanna, our Bishop, Dorian, our Archdeacon, Anne, our LMA Dean, and all who minister in our LMA, Rosanclair. We pray for the work and communities, for the staff, volunteers, and congregation of the churches of Llanarsny, St. David, St. Arthur, Llanzarog, Santurog, Llangadain, Sankadain. We also pray today for our Anglican Communion. Please pray for the Anglican Church of Kenya. We pray today, as always, for Elizabeth, our Queen, and for those who bear the responsibility of government in this and every nation, that our people, your people, Lord, May rejoice in your gifts of true justice and peace. For the following prayers, please respond with a response. Reveal in us your glory after I have said, Wonderful God. Wonderful God, reveal in us your glory. We give thanks for artists and craftspeople, those who give us vision of beauty and wonder. We ask your blessing upon all architects and planners, upon councils and governments, that they might keep a clear vision of what is good for our world. 
We pray for all who make decisions that will affect the future of the human race. Wonderful God, reveal in us your glory. We give thanks to those who have cared for us and taught us. We ask your blessing upon our homes, our friends and our families. We pray for all homes where there is a little sense of love or where there is neglect or abuse. We ask you to guide all who have the care of families who are struggling with their relationships. Wonderful God, reveal in us your glory. We give thanks for all who have made discoveries in medicine and all who are responsible for the care of human life. We pray for doctors, nurses, therapists, all who work in our NHS and care sectors, in our own local health centres. We ask your blessing upon all who are suffering at this time, especially anyone who feels they no longer have any value or influence. Wonderful God, reveal in us your glory. We give thanks for all who have witnessed to your love and saving power. We rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints and pray that our loved ones departed may share with them in the fuel fullness of your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us say together, the prayer that Jesus taught us in the language of our choice. Ein Tat, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And we continue to pray with the collects. With you a collect. Almighty Father, whose Son has revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us grace to perceive his glory, that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Collect for peace, collect am dangnefedd. O ddiw awdur tangnefedd, a charwr cytundeb, 
ond mae dydd na bod i yn fywyd rhagwyddol, a thwasanaethu yn rhyddid perffaith. Am ddiffyn i rhag holl ymysodiadau yn gylynion, fel a ninnau'n llwyr ymddyried yn dynodded, nad oedd nhw'n allu neb o'n gwrthwynebwyr. Trwy Iesu Grys dyn harglwydd. Amen. Collect and Brass, let us say together the Collect for Grace. O Lord and Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, we thank you for bringing us safely to the beginning of this new day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger, and enable us in everything to do only what is right in your eyes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come to the end of our service, I'd like to thank Jane for joining me this morning for morning prayer, and also to um, ask you to look out for the announcements for this week. They can be found a little bit further down on this Facebook page. Now to him who is able through the power which is at work among us to do immeasurable more than we can ask or conceive, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus from generation to generation forever. Amen. Er arglwydd efo gyda chwi, a hefyd gyda thi. Bendithiwn yr arglwydd, i ddiw bod diolch. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We finish our service this morning by singing the Charles Wesley hymn, Rejoice, the Lord is King. <laughs>